Hey guys, welcome back to Kids Corner. We're excited about Kids Corner this week. And of course, before we get started, the girls have a song for you, so be sure to join them and sing along. Join us as we sing, Jesus loves the little children. Jesus loves the little children. All the children of the world, what color, red and yellow, black and white, they are precious in his sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. Jesus died for all the children, all the children of the world. What color, red and yellow, black and white, they are precious in his sight. Jesus died for all the children of the world. Jesus rose for all the children, all the children of the world. What color, red and yellow, black and white, they are precious in his sight. Jesus rose for all the children of the world. Now we're going to sing, What a Mighty God We Serve. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. One more time. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him, heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. All right, so last week we talked about the Battle of Jericho. Remember how God told the people to walk around the walls for six days, once a day? And then on the seventh day, they marched around seven times and blew their trumpets and shouted, and the walls came down? That's right, but during the Battle of Jericho, God told the people not to take anything, not to take any gold or silver or precious metals or anything from Jericho. But all of those things were supposed to go to the Lord. But a man named Achan disobeyed God. And he took some gold and some silver and a garment and he took him to his tent and he buried him in the ground to hide him. Nobody will find it. <laughs> After the Battle of Jericho, the next city that the Israelites were going to go to battle against was a city called Ai. And Ai was a very small city. And so the Israelites were very confident about being able to, to defeat them. They were so confident that they only sent two or 3,000 men to go to battle against them. Yes, that's right. And even though Ai was such a small city, they chased the Israelites away and killed 36 of their men. And Joshua was devastated by what had happened. And he started to ask God, why? Why would you allow this to happen? Why, God? You want us to beat the city of Ai? Why? So God told Joshua that someone in the camp had sinned. And he told Joshua to gather all the people together and that he would tell Joshua who had sinned. So when Joshua gathered all the people together, God pointed out to Joshua that a man named Achan had committed the sin. Was it you, Achan, that sinned against God in Israel? Was it really you? It was me. I have sinned against the Lord. So Achan confessed his sin to the people and to God. And because of his sin, they took Achan and his family and his animals and all of his possessions to a place called Mount Achor. And they stoned them and they put a big mound of rocks on top of them. So after that, God told Joshua to take all of his soldiers to battle Ai. And this time, God provided the victory. Join us as we sing, If Sinners Entice You. If sinners entice you, don't give in, say no, say no. If sinners entice you, don't give in, say no, no, no. Say no to your friends who want you to sin. Say no to the devil who wants to win. If sinners entice you, don't give in, say no, no, no. All right, guys, I'm here with Brother Keith 
and Brother James, and we're going to talk today about some lessons that we can learn from the Battle of Ai. And Brother Keith here is going to get us started. Well, the first thing is, is we need to seek God's wisdom first. Just like Joshua should have gone before God and got wisdom so he could have figured out what was going on before many lives should have been, or that shouldn't have been lost and would have still been with the children of Israel. That can go across any part of our lives. For young kids, you're going into school and you have a bully that's bullying you. You need to go to your parents or your teachers to seek wisdom first to how to properly deal with a certain situation. And that just goes across everybody's life. It can go for uh, high schoolers, how to deal with peer pressure, adults in regards to their bosses at work. Every stage of life, there is a way that you need to seek God's wisdom first. And our second point, kids, is that we cannot hide our sin from God. Nobody in the camp of Israel knew that Achan took those things, those spoils of war. He stole those things, which God told them not to do. But God knew. So even when we think that nobody knows what we're going to do and we can get away with it, we need to remember the eyes of the Lord are in every place beholding the evil and the good. Another thing that we can learn from the battle of Ai is that sin has consequences. If you look at the situation um, with Achan, he did, he did confess to the sins that he committed, but he still had to suffer the consequences for those sins. He still was taken out, he and his family, and every, all of his possessions were taken out, and he was stoned. And remember, they buried him with a big pile of rocks. And so his sin had serious consequences. And just like us, we need to be really careful about whenever we decide that it's okay to sin. Because no matter what, we need to know that those sins uh, will come back to find us out. And those sins will have consequences. So what have we learned today? We've learned that we need to seek God's wisdom first. You can't hide sin from God. And the sin does have consequences. Thanks for joining us this week on Kids Corner. We hope you've learned a lot today. Can you believe we have one more week of Kids Corner left before we're all back together again? So now be sure to jo join Brother Steve in the Facebook Live service of the church service, and we'll see you back here next week on Kids Corner.